BIM is a very powerful measuring tool. It can be easily 100 times faster way to survey your basic quantities from the design intent than traditional document-based workflows. BIMC takes this even further. First of all, it connects the BIM data directly to your Excel calculations, but that's not all. Once you have linked the model data to your calculations, the logic can be saved and then reused when a design update comes to the same project or even in another project. My name is Sakari Lehtinen. Welcome. In this BIM sheet tutorial, you will learn how to reuse your BIM sheet calculations and what it requires from your models and calculations. So let's try this in practice by applying the Getting Started BIM sheet here to another version of the original model and then to a model from a completely different project. First open the other version of the original model in Simple BIM. Go to the BIM sheet and open your saved BIM sheet like this. The data is filled in automatically. If everything went well, you can visualize and check your calculations as you know already by simply selecting your formula cells. Note that you can of course edit, expand and finalize your calculations if needed, but that's it. You know, it's cold and dark here in Finland. We Finnish middle-aged men don't really get excited very easily. But come on, I must say this is pretty cool. Compare this to any document-based workflow, quite a difference. Anyways, how about the model from the other project? I'll open the model in Simple BIM. I go to the BIM sheet and open my saved logic. Again, the model is filled in automatically. Wow, how is this possible? It cannot be this easy, can it? Well, yes it can, but for sure in order this to work, the BIM sheet and the model must meet some requirements. Let's go through the basic ones. First, please watch the Getting Started with BIM sheet tutorial if you haven't already. In this tutorial we will continue where we left off in that one. In the last step of the Getting Started tutorial, we save the calculation as a BIM sheet. This saves your original calculation, but also the logic, how the data is extracted from the model and how the data is linked to your calculations. You can reuse your resulting BIM sheet yourself or even share it with other Simple BIM users if you like. It's just one file. Okay, but how does it work in practice? Well, the logic is saved to the Excel file itself. If you open a BIM sheet in the Excel application, you can see that the model data sheets are almost empty except of the one cell. The logic is stored behind these special cells, so you should not edit these sheets, otherwise the reusing won't work anymore. Because of the logic, the BIM sheet can fill in the model data always in the same way, meaning the properties and their order and their key values, for example summaries, are always filled into the same sheets, columns and cells. This is why the references to the model data from your calculation always work, even when the BIM sheet is filled in with another model's data. Okay, so we enhance the basic Excel files with some of our own logic. That's great. However, there must be some requirements for the models also. True. In order the logic to work, the model must be consistent enough. It depends on how you set up your BIM sheet. Here's an example. So if you have extracted the data based on an object class, then the model of course must have object instances of that object class in it. Otherwise there's nothing to extract. The model also must have the same properties you used in your data extraction. This is true for identification properties like the type identifier in our example, but also for the quantities. If the area or volume or length is not in the model, then it cannot be filled in. Finally, if you applied some filters to the data, then the actual property values must be consistent enough in order these filters to work. In our example, we used start with int filter. If the type identifier property doesn't have any values starting with int, then the filter of course doesn't work. The good news is that by setting your BIM sheet in a smart way, you are able to minimize these requirements. Extract only the data that you actually need for your calculations. The even better news is that BIM sheet works inside Simple BIM. The very reason of Simple BIM's existence is to normalize and enrich model data to fit for your purpose. Basically this means that you can be sure that the properties you need are always there. 
both the identification properties but also the quantities. SimpleBeam has one of the best geometry based quantity takeoff calculation engine in the market. Using these quantities in your PIM sheet means that it doesn't matter who did the model, in which project, in which model or the tool, or even which IFC export settings were used. Pretty great. Game changing, really. There are other ways you can standardize, normalize and enrich your models to fit for your purpose with SimpleBIM, but these are out of scope for this tutorial. Please check our support website and other tutorials to learn more. In this tutorial you learned the basic techniques and requirements for reusing your PIM sheet calculations. Thank you for watching. See you next time.